Hey mamas, so this is the shirt that I had cut out for my t-shirt fitted video and I have added in two layers of flannel just so that the inside and the outside are more obvious. For this video, I'm going to be doing a comfort serge fitted and that is a fitted where it is mostly surged with just the elastic casing channels sewn. It looks like it's not surged on the, on the edges. You surge it in two parts. Um, it's not my favorite kind of a fitted, but somebody suggested it and I know it was popular back when I was cloth diapering. I leave the front open and I surge around the sides until you get to your elastic casing area and around the whole back. This is just the first part of surging. There's gonna be three different steps for the surging. So you decide where your elastic casing is gonna start and I have it marked on the other side, but it's on the template if you wanna use one of my templates. This is using the medium to large fitted template. You're gonna take it and you're gonna turn it inside out. And you can either do that through the middle or you can do it through your turning hole because it's not sewn on the sides yet. Okay, so now at this point, you make sure that all your lines, all your fabrics are lined up again on the legs and you can clip it or you can just eyeball it. So now you're going to take this and you're just going to surge along those leg casings. Just go about a half an inch above so that it overlaps the old line. You don't want to, you don't want to start it, you know, and have any gap. You want to go over this corner here. now you have your legs just through the elastic casings surged as well and we're going to turn it back to the first end again. Now you're just going to sew your channels like you would normally for your elastic at the front at the I mean at the sides and at the back. You're going to feed your elastics through your turning hole.
So now you've got your elastics installed. At the back, it's just a surged edge with an elastic. And on the sides, it looks turned. I mean, it is turned, but it's surged and turned. And then you can see how, because we did the top first, that part is hidden inside. So it just goes right smooth into it. Same at the front. Now we're just gonna surge around our turning hole and then tuck in the ends and we'll be done. Smooth across your top. Nice flat surged wings. And smooth edged cased elastics. For this type of diaper, you can fold it down to adjust your size, or you can add snaps or whatever closure you want. If you use something like a waffle knit or Sherpa, it'd be snappyable. You get this nice sort of part surged, part turned edge. Comfort surged fitted. Happy sewing.